हेलो फ्रेंड्स सतीश तिवारी हियर फ्रॉम इथिकल हैकिंग ट्यूशन सेंटर जयपुर एंड यू गाइज आर वाचिंग माय यूट्यूब चैनल स्लैश रू डॉट इन टुडे इन दिस टोटोरियल वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ टू कॉन्फ़िगर एफटीपी सर्वर इनसाइड काली लिनक्स ओके सो बेसिकली एफटीपी टी पी फाइल ट्रांसफर प्रोटोकॉल इट वर्क ऑन पोर्ट नंबर ट्वेंटी एंड वी यूज एफ सर्वर टू फॉर फाइल ट्रांसफर लाइक इफ यू वॉन्ट टू ट्रांसफर फाइल फ्रॉम काली लाइन टू विंडोज और काली लाइन टू एनी अदर लाइन मशीन और एनी विंडोज मशीन और मैक और एंड्रॉयड you have to configure ftp server on your kali linux machine let's see how to configure this is my kali linux i have already installed kali linux here if you don't know how to install i will share you the link in the description box you can check my playlist and you will find how to install kali linux inside virtual machine so just after installation i just log in with the username uh, kali password kali and once i log in here i just open the terminal and let me zoom it okay zoom the terminal so that you can see the command clearly okay so after you have to update the repository using sudo apt update command password for kali is kali and now this will update the repository of your kali linux machine after updating the repository we are going to install the package for ftp server that is vsftpd VS stand for very secure, FTPD stand for file transfer protocol, and D stand for daemon. So let's show. Let me show you. Now the time is sudo apt install v v for very s for secure, FTP file transfer protocol, and D for daemon. Daemon means service. Install this package. So this will install FTP service package on your Kali Linux machine. Done. Now let's check the service. So sudo vsftpd, or you can say system ctl system ctl sta status status, and then vsftpd dot service service v i c, and you can see by default it is not loaded. it is inactive okay so you have to activate it how you can activate by running the command system ctl sudo system ctl and then start vsf tpd dot service and this will start ftp service now you can check the status again and now you can see it is active and running once it is active and running you need to go to the configuration file of ftp server to allow uploading also how you can go sudo vim etc psftpd.conf okay this is the configuration file for ftp server go inside this file and here you can see by default write enable is equal to write enable is equal to yes but this is uh, uh, disabled okay so you have to enable this one so i go to insert mode and delete this hash before write enable okay so remember write underscore enable is equal to yes so you have to remove the comment from this line and then save this file now restart the service again so system still restart we have saved the service now check the status again okay service is running now ftp server is ready now you can check your files and folders on this machine so you can see there are so many folders desktop documents download music pictures public templates etc if you want to create your own folder suppose mkdir linux tiwari i make a folder here okay so that folder is also appeared here and this will be appeared on ftp server also now before going to the ftp server i am going to check the ip address of my kali linux machine so sudo if config the ip address for my linux machine is 192.168.29.210 now you have to type this ip address inside your windows machine so let's go to the windows machine i open this pc my computer okay and at the top you can see that the this pc here you have to type ftp colon slash slash and the ip address and once you type the ip address just wait and it's asking for username and password so here you have to type the username kali and the password is also 
Kali in my case. Okay. Then click on log on and here it is. So you can see all the files and folders, desktop, documents, downloads, Linux theory, which I have created, music, pictures, video, templates, public, all those folders are visible, which are available here. You can see these are the list of folders which are available here and that is also can be easily seen here also. Now you can go inside this folder, suppose Linux theory and you can right click and you can create folder, upload folder or file here. You can see I have created folder here, new folder or I can make it suppose Satish. So I have created Satish folder inside Linux directory. You can go and check whether that is uploaded or not. So CD Linux theory, go inside the Linux theory and run LS and you can see inside this Linux theory, you can see Satish folder is here, which I have just created in Windows. So that file has been uploaded on Linux machine. And if I create any file here, suppose touch a dot dot z, okay, dot exe, I have created a to z exe file here inside the Satish directory, inside the Linux theory directory. You can go and check here whether that file is appearing. So you can see refresh the key and you can see all those files are appearing here. A to Z exe file, A dot exe, B dot exe, C dot exe, Z dot exe. If you want to delete these files, you can delete it from here. RM hyphen RF star dot exe. All those exe files will be deleted from this file now. Okay. And now once you go to the windows, refresh it and you can see all those files have been deleted. So hence you can upload, download file from Kali Linux to windows or Kali Linux to any other Linux using FTP service and I have shown you how to configure FTP server on your Kali Linux machine. I am going to run you the history command. These are the list of commands you need to worry. These are the steps to follow. If you follow these steps, you will be easily able to configure FTP service on your Kali Linux machine. I hope you understand. If you still have any doubt, you can ask me through the comment section. Okay. And if you like my video, don't forget to share with your friends. Thank you. Thank you for watching.